Ladies and gentlemen, how you going? This one goes out to all my ladies. This episode is dedicated to the ladies out there. Um, t today guys, I just want to show you before I get into what I'm doing. Check this out. Now, that's enough. That's enough. I've got a few of those. Got a few of those. I've got some bootleg toys at a market. Went to the Melbourne market. Picked up a few bootleg Pokemon. Thought you guys might enjoy them. Um, if you guys smack that mole fucking like button. Just kidding guys. That's not part of the wager. Just let me know below if you want to see those. You know what I'm saying? Boys, let's generate some hype. And ladies. Ladies first. If you got a pussy, your voice is heard. If you got a dick... Uh, hit the curb. Not really. Uh, this channel is all about equality. I'm sorry for the vulgar language. Any parents who, who want to uh, condemn their children for watching this, come to me first. I will gladly fist fight you. Unless any of you got a, like a big uh, seven foot dad. Really getting out on a tangent there. I want to show you guys some amiibos I picked up today. Yeah, there's Donkey Kang. I think that's, uh, I think the red ones are from what? Fucking Mario Party or Mario Kart. Who knows? Not really new, kind of just garbage. Kind of just got a million versions of everything now. Since multiple games just take the same characters, but they print new amiibos. This Bill is my favorite though, I like his little pink tongue. Very cute. Anyway guys, as you probably know from the title, we've got um, a few... <laughs> what the fuck is Yokai Watch, son? Um, yeah, we've got some Yokai Watch booster packs. I was aware they have the, the medallions, uh, or the, the what I called them in my Japanese uh, vlog a while back when they were huge in Japan, the Pogs, and they are blowing up around the world now, and they've, and they've somewhat recently released cards. Have not checked anything about these online, have absolutely no idea about the card game, no idea if they have rare versions or anything that actually looks good, don't have a clue about anything, haven't looked up anything. Don't plan to play it. Don't actually give a shit about it. Just thought, man, you love opening stuff, Max. You should open You should open up some of those. They caught my eye behind the counter, and the rest is history. I'm pretty sure this is going to be one of the biggest mistakes of my life. $6 a pop. Here we go. <laughs> what the fuck? No idea about any of this. This motherfucker called Stepper. we got uh, Peck Pocket. Looks like a knockoff Angry Bird. Hung, cr hung Gramps. Don't know how to play this game. This looks like a knockoff fucking muck. We've got, um, oh, I think he's actually quite a popular card, that one. Or at least something, because he's on the back of everything. The thing I was thinking is, if they're already showing these guys on the back, and none of them look special at all, maybe there's nothing crazy or cool that you can even pull in a booster pack. Surely they'd, they'd want to... Oh, actually, no, I take that back. I see the silver border. All right, we got the line. We got this, uh, again, a knockoff version of something. Looking like a more evil two-eyed plankton. And there we go. Hit a bat. When hit a bat attacks and makes your opponent draw a life card, you may attack again if your opponent has more life cards than you do. Never gonna learn how to play this game. Just thought I'd open them. And I think it follows the three from the back rule. Same as Pokemon. We've got Walden, we've got Wreath, Re and we've got Daloma. Daloma. Hey, I remember this motherfucker in the app. I played, I played an app of this shit once. All right, let's get on to the next pack. Why do they have these big weird Boxes around. Yokai Watch trading card game. Ah, fucking cunt. That's the thumbnail, dude. Without further ado, blindly on to the next pack of shit I have no idea about. If if this follows the same rules Pokemon, which will look like it did, I could do this, and the good rare mole fucker should be on the back. We got Hungramps again. We got D Discount Muck again. All right, we got a new guy. We got. Uh, Castellius three. Who knows what happened to Castellius one and two? We've got Knockoff Cloister. I guess everything's a knockoff Pokemon when you have too many of them. There's Cacturn. We've got Hariyama. Next up, we have M Machop. Then we've got uh, uh, Ditto uh, uh, trying to hop hip. Kind of a little bit. Maybe after he's gone to a custard buffet. I I'll give you that. That one's somewhat original. That ain't no Pokemon. Next up, we have Shiny Pinsir. 600. Is that good or what? What the fuck does this mean? 200 and plus 300 on either side there. And there we have the rare. I'm pretty sure that's one of the main dudes, isn't it? Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Robin Yan. Ah, uh, Nyan as in cat in Japanese and Robo as in robot. It's a robotic cat. You may, you may, you may flip your yokai metal. Okay, you use uh, yokai metals in this twice when Robin Nyan attacks. 
Sorry, my brain is all fried. When Robin Yarn battles and get power... I'm going to read that again. I, I think I may actually be having a stroke. You may flip your Yokai medal twice when Robo Yarn battles and get a power up for each success. Fantastic. Full art, mate. The next $6 down the drain. Brought to you by Hasbro. Ah, we got Robon Yarn non shiny version. So you'll see this one doesn't actually say anything but a description of it. Um, three from the back, put those to the front. We've got a guy who looks like straight out of the, the DBZ universe. We've got uh, Samurai Don't Sleep. It's an action card. I think it's my first action card. Wake up, your yokai. That yokai cannot be put to sleep in its next battle this turn. Cool, dude. Oh, we got a humanoid. First fully fledged human. I bet she's hanging out with all these. All these weird, uh. Furries, we've got another, we've got Bruff, we've got Hitabat, non-shiny version, we've, ew, what that tongue do though? Then we've got, uh, Cust we've got this guy before, fuck him off, we've got Hung Gramps again, third version of him, and oh, we've got Stepper, I want to step on his smug little cunt face. Step against 200 power for each other awake yokai you have in the Heartful Tribe. Okay. I guess you got tribes in this game. We're slowly learning uh, more and more about it as as we go. I will never do this again. Please don't unsubscribe. This is a learning experience. This is just like the time we opened up those Yu-Gi-Oh cards, even though I don't know anything about Yu-Gi-Oh cards anymore. It's just a fun experience. Oh my god, there's actually uh, Castellius 2. I made a joke about him earlier, but there he is. He's got two drumsticks on each side. Coming out of the top half of his mustache. I don't know what that's about. He looks like a samurai, but he also looks like a building. Uh, next up, we've got Nyat Nyat. Kind of like a play on Nyan and uh, also Nyat uh, Night. Uh, it's a cute little way to say <laughs> he's going to sleep. Don't worry about that one. we got Was That. And then we've got Quit. Okay, are all these names puns? Illu. Then we have Droplet. Some little cum drop. Kind of like a depressed boo. Uh, and then we have Bruff again. We got that dude before. We got Tattletale. Some old grandmother dropping acid. Tongue green as shit. Jibanyan. <sighs> Jibanyan. And then we got Rith. Or Rith. I think it's Rith because he's, he's got rhythm. See, he's, he's dancing. He's a dancer. Pretty gay, but, you know, I guess he's got a bow on his head. It could be a woman, you know. Never assume a yokai's gender. If you have Rith in play, I just call him Rith. If you have Rith in play, when you place a new yokai in the Heartful Tribe, draw one card. I'm going to have to build my deck around the Heartful Tribe. Showing you guys just how much I care about my, my shinies. I, I'm putting them in sleeves, guys. I'm super serious about this game. And let's move on to the next fresh pack. Hey, if anyone knows anything about this game, and if there's any sort of uber rare or whatever, I'm sure after I actually film this video, once it's already posted and you're already trying to fucking talk about it in the comments, I probably will will have already looked it up and, and know the rarities. But please, for the sake of talking, um, that's kind of cool, talking among yourself, tell me, is there any uber rares? Does anything in these... Cards go for any amount of actual money, or is it all just garbage? Look at it. Yuck! Put it in my mouth? This bitch drooling? I'm not sure I'm into this perverted game, guys. And we've got Illu, the shiny one. We haven't got any doubles on the rares, so that's pretty good. If you can even call them rares. Alright, I'm looking on eBay. I can't really see much. Sorry, I thought I'd take it into my own hands. I can't fucking see much. Okay, maybe this guy is ultra rare? But he's Japanese, so that makes sense. I doubt the English ones would ever go for that much. Currently, because surely it's not super popular at all. That looks way... Okay, well, that looks a goddamn lot much cooler than anything fucking I've got. Except it also looks like that version, whatever um, type of card game that is, or that version of card game, is way cooler looking. Maybe that's just the Japanese one. Maybe they simplified it for English. Who knows? Someone let me know in the comments. Until then, let's open some more. I guess if we get any super rares, um, if that exists, we'll, we'll surely know. It'll maybe look a little different. Who knows? We've got an actual wall called Walden. I think I've already got him. Maybe a different artwork or different version of him. We've got this guy that wants you to come in his fucking mouth again. Illu. There you go. There's a new guy. Daramacho. Doesn't that look like the red Pokemon? Daram... What's it called? Daram... Dar it's also something similar. I think it's based on whatever that is. Some kind of... Uh, woo! some kind of uh, Japanese lore or something. I think a lot of this stuff seems to be based on Japanese lore or legends or some island stuff. Something. I'm pretty sure this guy's very popular, but there we go. We've got Blazian. The Lion Man. One of the main boys, I think. Who knows, though? Told you guys I care about him. Straighten the protector. 
<laughs> oh, suck my fucking nuts, Hasbro. Give me something good, please. Uh, um, okay. And people say Pokemon are, are running out of ideas. After being inside the house for so long, Hitabat fused with it. Now it really can't ever leave. What a fucking... <laughs> what an idea. It's a malfunction. We've got some fat cunt suspicion again. We've got this guy. A lot of sexual looking stuff. This dude's got a wok on his head. We've got one of the main cats. We've got that hop hip. We've got the slime man. And we've got B3NK1. Every time he attacks, the opponent must choose and discard a power up card. Excellent, mate. One, two, three, to the front. We've got a guy who walked in on uh, his parents fucking. We've got Azure Dragon. That thing looks like a beast. We've got Terra Time. We've got that before. We've got Cyanake. Some kind of butterfly on its tail. We've got Bruff again. That guy can fuck off. Wiggling. You can fuck off. Stepper, you can fuck off. You all look the same. Not saying that about your race. Oh my god, negative buzz. Negative. Negati buzz. This shit is just two words, which isn't even fused creatively. Negati buzz? Negative buzz. <sighs> Nothing will give you a good suck. I like how, what they've done with the sleeves. That's kind of cool. At the end, we've got Shogunyan. You flip a medal when this dude does something, and then something else happens. This is kind of depressing. I, I, I sort of wish... I kind of wish at this point I, I, I didn't open 10. I didn't invest in buying 10. If there is anyone who has played the game and has a sort of unbiased uh, view... Please, oh my god. He's finally taken the load. He's got a little bit in his eye and he's swallowing it. And he's like, yes, boys. Come back to calm on my tongue again. Uh, so filthy, dude. Oh my god, number three. We've got Riganoggin. Dude, come on. That's an actual Negro Heracross. Uh, we've got a dead elephant. Fidgifin. Is it actually dead? It looks like it's choking itself. <sighs> All right, we've got a snake. And what's with? Why is everyone tripping in this? Everyone has weird colored saliva or tongues. Kapunky. And then we've got that. Oh, that's the guy that I said looks really strong. And there's the shiny version of him. I think we're actually onto the last lot here. The last one. Let's make this final one a good one. I've had surprising luck in terms of at least not getting like. Any or many uh, double up on the shinies. Quite impressed with that, as there's surely not too many cards. Look at this cheeky cunt. Ernaconda. Shady or mysterious tribes. Ernaconda. Does he eat urns? Goes around sucking down fucking dead people's, I mean, de people's dead nans. Chatterley. We've got uh, B3 again. I didn't. I, forget, I don't think I put put it to the front. The shiny. Did I? Yes, I did. There's the uh, Pekka Pocket. Big fat piece of shit. Looks like uh, some kind of angry bird. And last of all, no, not last of all. Kapunky. Last of all, Jabanyan. Speaking of not getting doubles, there's a double shiny. I think. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I don't think I'm gonna <laughs> do that again. Fuck yo Kai Watch. You know what, guys? It could actually be pretty pretty cool. I'm not knocking it until I've tried it. Haven't played the game. No idea. I'm just saying the cards are kind of bland. Pokemon started bland, but then it picked up. Some of the old ones are really cool. These could end up being vintage classics. What's your opinion? Just give me some cooler, bigger shit. Where's the ultra rares? Maybe I was just very unlucky in not, in not pulling anything. But that's the English set of uh, Yokai Watch, the card game. Ten boosters. Ten boosters. Thanks for watching, guys. My name is Max Mofo. I will see you guys in the next episode. Whatever we do, wherever we go. I got your back.